Hello, hello, hello. This is Keishan. I am your human resource. Thank you. I help people see the possibilities and what they think is impossible. I am disrupting HR, disrupting leadership, and disrupting you tonight. I am going to be talking about having more with less. Thank you. I have a little helper here with me who is, uh, she may decide to jump up and make her presence known. Uh, but nonetheless, I am excited to share with you that more is less. Um, today, I was out driving with my mom. And I know over the past couple of uh, lives, I've been sharing about interviewing techniques, either from an organizational perspective or from an individual perspective. And do you have or are you um, asking the right questions? Are you vying for the right positions? Is that organization giving you the information that you need so that you can make an informed decision? So here we are. And now we're going to talk about making sure that you have you are taking advantage of the skills and abilities that you currently have. So say, for example, well, actually, like I said, today I was out and about with my mom. We are driving and we were listening to a Kirk Franklin song. It's called Favor. And we're just listening, blessings and favor. Uh, just, I was, I was jamming y'all. So what I found out or something just said, look at the video. And I showed the video to my mom. And as I was showing her the video, um, I made an observation and it, the observation was that I, um, uh, anyways, so the observation that I made was this, as I looked at the video, what I saw from Kirk Franklin is that they were in this sound room, in this sound room, there were three plus himself. So there were a total of four vocalists. There was, there was a keyboard that Kirk Franklin was on, three vocalists that were sitting on a box, and then there was another guy playing the box. The box, I think it had holes in it, and that was the, I'll call him the percussionist. So what I found in this time of them, what I found in the middle uh, of watching them was that they were able to utilize what they had and it sounded full. It was amazing. If you get the opportunity to listen to that song, Favor by Kirk Franklin, you will see them in this sound room, a very small room. There were no windows. Kirk was on a stool and playing a keyboard with his microphone, three vocalists with their microphone and a guy sitting on a box beating it. And it was absolutely amazing. So I said all that to say this, as it relates to you, either as an entrepreneur as an employee or somebody who wants to be employed somewhere or as um, an organization, entrepreneur, individual, don't always think that you have to be connected to everybody. Don't always think that the more people you know, the better. Sometimes it's the right people with the right connections because you've done the right thing to prepare yourself for that which is to come. More will be shared when that actually is, I'm able to share all the details behind that. But you have what you need to get to where you're trying to go. You have to be able to really focus on that and allow yourself to just be confident first and foremost because if you're confident even what even if you're in a position that you're not even qualified for 
your confidence may be what they're looking for for another opportunity. So again, don't think that you have to, even when you talk, sometimes people will talk in interviews and they talk just to be talking. Talk with purpose, speak with purpose, ask questions for a purpose. Yesterday I shared, I shared ask questions based on the information you're trying to gain for yourself because you want something just like they want something. So don't think you have to give, give, give when you're in an interview. You also need to receive, you need to receive the answers that will make sure that you're vying for the position that you're looking for. Um, so as I wrap up, I want to leave you with this. More is not always more. Less could be the more that you're looking for or that you need in order to be successful in the position that you're looking to acquire. Or even if you're an entrepreneur and you're looking for clients, you don't always have to ask everybody. Ooh, this is good. Sometimes just the one connection will open the doors to so much more. That one connection could put you in the place of being with individuals that may be the client group you're looking for. Um, in this, this uh, community that I'm connected to, what one of the things that they talk about is sometimes people want many clients. They want many smaller clients, but with that, you have more work to do versus getting one huge client and making greater impact faster and easier. So again, more is not necessarily more. More could be worse, but less could be more and make sure that your less is more. So again, that's all that I have to share with you. My name is Keishan. I am your human resource. I help people see the possibilities in what they think is impossible. I am disrupting HR, disrupting leadership, and I hope that this disrupted you. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.